So as you can imagine the scene I showed in the intro, where the Lego bricks were spooling out, what you're looking at right now is exactly how I did that. I was explaining in a couple of my tutorials, you need to understand that particles are points. I drop in a basic emitter, right? And I rotate this 90 degrees. And I set it to a circle. And we're on a constant emission, and that's fine. We'll jump up the frames here. And we go to properties, speed, uh, the direction, we're gonna set this to radial, so that means it comes out the sides. And I hit play. Now there's another thing you need to understand about cloners as well, because I'm emitting these particles, right? And I explained this in a couple of my videos. If you've watched them, we come to the particle group, you hit your points mode, you can see I've got 159 points in the scene. These particles are literally just points. And if I come to the particle group and draw the radius so we can see the particles, you can see the points within them. So now think of the same thing with cloners. Well, how does a cloner work, right? Well, if I take a cube, I don't know, 15, 15, 15, and I drop it in a cloner, right, and it's on grid. So if I change this to multi-instance, and we go to viewport mode, points, look at this. It's just a bunch of points. That's all it is, right? What does that mean for particles? Well, it means that then when we drop in these particles and we emit a bunch of points, that means that we can then clone RBD objects onto them and have very heavily art-directed RBD simulations. 